Okay, this is an Apple Vision protest. I'm gonna translate what this guy is saying in real time. Excuse me, a hospital. Debes ir por un camino largo. Bueno, luego encontrarás un edificio grande. Then you will find a big building. Mm -hmm. Just continue after the big building. You will find a roundabout. Take the roundabout and go straight forward again. Uh -huh. Then you will find the hospital, okay? Thank you very much. What you just saw isn't real, but it's based on technology that we currently have. So it's gonna come to the Apple Vision Pro sooner or later. In this video, I'm gonna show you five dystopian apps, starting with a normal app that you just saw, where you just translate someone. But by the end of the video, it's gonna get more dystopian and somewhat more disturbing. But I have a feeling that all these apps are gonna arrive to Apple Vision Pro sooner or later, because the technology is there and capitalism is gonna force it, basically. Back to the live translation app that you just saw. It uses Hagen's technology. Hagen uses AI to translate somebody's spoken words and also clone their voice. Here's an example. This is me speaking English, the only language that I can speak fluently. And now it seems that I'm speaking Hindi. I can't speak in a language that I can't speak in a language. Now I speak Deutsch, I speak also kein Deutsch. The craziest part about this is that it doesn't just sound like I'm speaking a different language, it looks like it too. Hay algo completamente salvaje y extraordinario. Nice, finally I can pretend to speak multiple of languages so I can get more matches on Tinder. So basically, if there was to be a collab between Heijin and Apple Vision Pro, they would make the perfect translation application. Translation application. The only thing we need right now for this application to be real is for Heijin's processing to be faster because it currently takes like 30 minutes to an hour to make a 30 second translation video. So that was the least crazy application that I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you four more apps and each app is going to get more crazier until we reach number five, which I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for. It's not very ethical. Let's just say that but i guarantee it will become a real app app number two is going to be con con contextual contextual information and assistance or cia i couldn't come up with a better name this one combines chat gpt capabilities with augmented reality from apple vision pro we've already seen chat gpt's capabilities of organizing shit that you give so basically you can give ChatGPT items from your cooking list, the shit that you already have, and you can ask it to create a recipe with the items that you've given it. Yeah! But with Apple Vision Pro, this is how it could look like. All right, I'm in the kitchen. I'm gonna choose the cooking app and this menu pops up. I'm gonna push this right over there. I'm gonna start looking at items and picking them with my thumb. So the sausages, the eggs, and you can see they actually reflect in the menu. What the frick? I'm gonna start choosing carrot, chicken, beef, potatoes, cheese, rice, and pasta. And they're all in the menu. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna click suggest. And now I have four meal suggestions. I'm gonna go with cheesy chicken and rice casserole, however you wanna spell it. And I have the freaking recipe. I'm gonna take this, maybe push it over there because I wanna be able to see it while I cook next to the stove. That's the power of AI and future Apple Vision Pro apps. Now that's crazy. So long for learning how to cook. This app is the most realistic, let's say, because we already have the technology and it's literally ready for someone to literally just steal this idea. Steal this idea and give me 10%. App number three is the outfit app. Have you ever had an important date that you spent hours trying to find something nice to wear, trying out different outfits and you couldn't find anything? Well, what if you can try all the outfits in real time with just a snap? That's not a snap, but okay. There's something called stable diffusion in painting, and it basically allows you to change your clothes and try out different things. But what if we combine this technology with the Apple Vision Pro augmented reality? Imagine looking in a mirror wearing your clothes. We've seen this in Ready Player One when the guy has an important date and he's able to change his outfit so quickly. Now, granted, these outfits are imaginary, but in real time, you'll probably be able to scan your clothes and try them out without actually trying them out. This can probably also work for interior design instead of buying the item and then seeing how it's gonna look like you can probably do it in real time and not only that you can walk around and view how the new couch looks and how the new tv looks just don't sit on any imaginary couches but you can sit on my dick this also needs time because stable diffusion takes time right now to generate clothes but it should be available in the future app number four i called it mind quest and it's basically an education app but it can be used for many things yeah 
that's not appropriate for this video. So if you don't know what Wonder Dynamics is, it basically allows you to replace somebody in video with a 3D character. And it's so simple to use, like anybody can give it a video and it would easily replace that. You just have to be rich as fuck because it's expensive. So in to this program, I provided just footage of an actor and I said, make this person an alien. Okay. What does that mean? And an alien, it made him. Oh, there oh he is. shoot! Oh. Look at that. Oh wow, dude, it's, it's like composited too. It's nearly right. perfect. Oh my it doesn't God. look like it's. The, I, I did zero effects work on this. I, I clicked a button. I said, "Make him an alien." Nice. I can finally replace my neighbor with a sack of shit. Now imagine a collaboration between Wonder Dynamics to replace the character and AI voice cloning technology and the Apple Vision's Pro real-time augmented reality. Imagine sitting in a history class where all the students are wearing Apple Vision Pro and the history teacher transforms into Abraham Lincoln. And why stop there? Why doesn't he give the lecture inside one of the rooms in the White House? And also cloning Abraham Lincoln Lincoln's voice to give that lecture or that speech. Also, I saw this video of a realistic Harry Potter theater play. That's cool as fuck. I mean, it's a surprise to me that nobody was hurt during this, but with Wonder Dynamics and Apple Vision Pro, you'd be able to replace the whole scene. There wouldn't be a need for physical set pieces and props. You can change the whole environment. You can add magic and all these types of effects. You'll be able to replace the whole characters with 3D characters. Of course, Wonder Dynamics is not instant as of now, so it's gonna need a lot of time to get to the point where it's instantly replacing the person with a 3D character. And also the Apple Vision Pro is expensive, so these plays would not be for everyone, for sure. Poor people like me and you are gonna be stuck with normal plays like these. I wouldn't call that a normal play, but yeah. So the last app and the most dystopian one is called Eternal VR. It's ethically questionable, I'm not gonna lie. So imagine bringing back someone to life. Imagine having a loved one that's died a while ago and you can actually sit with them, talk to them, enjoy a conversation, ask them questions. I've already been able to replicate people's personalities by feeding scripts to chat GBT. For example, I took the scripts of the last 10 videos of Penguin Zero and I've given them to ChatGBT and I was able to replicate his personality. And Heijin has a feature where you're able to give it a video of someone and it'll be able to replicate that person's gestures, expressions, and even the voice. Guess what? You're in for a surprise. This version of me isn't the real deal. I'm not actually a living being. I'm just a highly advanced AI model imitating Jesse. Strange, isn't it? Even my voice is a mirror image of Jesse's. Admittedly, the voice might not be spot on, but the vision- Okay, that's actually creepy now that I'm imagining it. Like imagine talking to someone and then they're just like not human. So this video was six months ago. I'm sure the technology has gotten a lot better now. And also we've seen OpenAI Sora and how it could literally replicate real life so close. We've also seen the Apple Vision Pro 3D scanning and avatar. I believe that if you combine the three of these, you'll be able to theoretically bring back someone to life. Now the limitations would be that you would need a lot more data than what ChatGPT can process right now. Instead of feeding it 10 scripts, you'd have to give it like gigabytes of scripts in order to get an accurate representation of what that person could be like. We've seen something similar to this in the movie Passengers in 2016. Basically, Chris Pratt is talking to an AI robot. Of course, the limitations would always be physical touch. You're not gonna be able to f this shit. You're not gonna be able to make out with your mom. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. That was a horrible joke. Go ahead and make fun of me in the comments and tell me how unethical I am. These are just my predictions based on the current technologies that we have right now. I'll see you in the next video.